Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently got my hands on my perfect, like dream pair of denim cut off shorts. The pair we're gonna be talking about today that I'm going to be styling for all of these outfits is by Levi's, which I think is a great like middle of the road option. So I recently did a video comparing the A Goldie Parker organic cotton shorts with a pair from Old Navy. <laughs> kind of blanked out there for a minute. I will link that for you down below so you can check it out. But ultimately, this is the pair I went with. This is 100% cotton, which can be so hard to find. You guys know, if you've been with me for a little while, that I've been flipping synthetics out of my closet in favor of natural fibers, and I love 100% cotton clothing. But apart from the fact that I love the rinse, it's like such a fresh, fun rinse for the summertime. These have a super high rise, and I love of the purposeful distressing you guys the fact that they have this little curvature at the bottom of the leg creates such a flattering look oh my goodness and what I love most about the fit of these is the fact that your goods aren't hanging out in the back if you know what I mean so I will list these down below for you again if you're looking for a middle of the road denim cut off option my whole thinking with this video was to keep it on the elevated side. I think historically, when we think of a pair of denim cutoffs, what do we think of? Like Daisy Dukes, you're hanging out down here, you're hanging out on top. But for me, I just like something a little bit more modest, more classically feminine. So of course, the first thing I'm going to style them with is just a basic organic cotton shirt. Love the fact that it is a crew neck, so you have the coverage up top. It has a slightly longer short sleeve. And then while it is cropped, it's not like obnoxiously so. It has a really fun boxy fit to it. There's nothing crazy going on with this. It's just a classic white tee. And what I love about styling a top like this with a pair of shorts like this is the fact that because you do have a higher rise, it's going to counterbalance the slightly cropped nature of the shirt. Another great option to consider is to go with a second layer up top. So regardless of whether you're wearing your jean shorts with something like a white t-shirt or even a tank top, consider something like a breezy cotton kimono. Obviously it's gonna give you a little bit more coverage, make you feel a little bit more modest, but still keeping it very feminine and playful. And because the fact that this is longer, you could always tie it at the waist or just wear it as is. And you're also going to get coverage in the back. So if you're not fully comfortable with showing off everything in the back, although you're wearing a pair of denim cutoff shorts, a second layer like a kimono is a great option. Another great option if you're looking for a second layer on top just to give you a little bit more coverage is a cotton or linen blazer. I know that's not something we typically think of styling with a pair of denim cutoffs, but that's what I love about it. Because inherently a blazer is typically associated with a professional look, a very grown up look. And so to pair it with a pair of jean shorts, I just think is such an interesting contrast. Plus when you go with a cotton or linen, it's gonna give you that breathability while also keeping you covered. And what's nice is again, and as a second layer, it's gonna give you that coverage in the back. So it's probably not going to cover your entire backside, but it's going to give you just enough coverage in the back to give you enough confidence to wear a pair of shorter shorts. Another timeless top to style with a pair of jean shorts, just as timeless as a white cotton tee, is a white linen or cotton top. 
I love this linen pop over top mainly because it doesn't have buttons going down the entirety of the garment. That way, if I want to wear it tucked in, it's not going to create like that annoying bulk that tends to happen right along the waistline. Plus, linen is another super breathable fiber. It feels so good in the summertime. Even if you have a longer sleeve, it's still going to keep you cool. And because you have a longer sleeve, you have the option of keeping that sleeve long and intact to give you more coverage uh, from the sun or just for a more modest look but then you can also cuff this you can roll it to show off a great pair of jewelry and just to give yourself some extra ventilation too and when you have a longer top like this obviously another option to give you some coverage in the back if you want full coverage go with a longer style that will keep everything under wraps but this is also a great option to do a French tuck if you want like a super effervescent just fun vibe throw on a great hat a great pair of sandals and you are out the door looking like you spent all day putting your outfit together when it probably took all of two minutes So another great option to keep in mind just when it comes to balancing your outfit is to go with an inherently very feminine style of blousier top. So I love this cotton style because of its volume. Plus you just have these very delicate feminine details with the lace trim on the squared off neckline, again with that embroidery, the eyelet detail, and then this one in particular has some scalloping too. Now what I love about this top in particular is it is slightly cropped. So again, it's a nice way to close the gap. So you have that high rise, a little bit of crop on your top that's probably going to eliminate the chance of showing off any skin on the midriff. And again, the voluminous nature of a top like this just beautifully complements the more fitted vibe of a pair of denim shorts like that. You have another instance where you have that balance. You have sexy, balanced by absolutely beautiful and very feminine. I love any top that is very feminine that's also going to help soften the vibe of a denim cutoff like a blouse like this. That ruffling on the collar adds such a beautiful, soft, feminine look. You have the ruffling at the end of the longer sleeve, so that long sleeve is going to be a nice counter to the shortness of the shorts. This is a great option too if you have a date night look, you want to dress up for brunch with your girlfriends, whatever the case may be. Throw on a great hat, some accessories, the perfect pair of sandals, and you are out the door. Okay guys, in final top I'm styling with my denim cutoffs for the summertime is actually a sweatshirt. I just love the sporty vibe that's still like very feminine and beautiful. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. 100% cotton, a slight bit of spandex just to give it a little bit of stretch. It does have that dropped shoulder which I love on a sweatshirt, especially when you're wearing it with a pair of denim cutoffs because again, it's like effervescence, effervescence. It just creates this really, really fun, playful look that still can be quite grown up and sophisticated looking. So the other thing this sweatshirt has going for it, it is another style that is slightly cropped. It's not crazy so. It also has a little bit of a high-low situation going on, which I think is super flirty and fun, especially in the back. It gives you a little bit more coverage, a little bit more of a mystery going on back there instead of like selling the whole farm. I think a sweatshirt and jean shorts looks so cute with a great pair of white kicks because it's just, again, like very sporty, very fresh looking. 
If it's a little bit of a cooler summer day, a cotton sweatshirt is a great option because obviously it's gonna give you a little bit more warmth up top, but you can also roll and cuff the sleeves to give it a breezier vibe if you want a little bit of ventilation. Okay guys, so that'll do it for a couple different outfit ideas when it comes to getting an elevated look when styling your favorite pair of denim cutoff shorts. But in any event, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.